In the life of African people, there are many families, religion, and daily life. African people had a variety of people in the families. The most kids a mother could have in the family is about six. In most families, the fathers aren't there because they are mostly sold or used for slavery. A typical West African family is part of standard families, including the mom, dad, children, and close relatives. Religion was also important to the West Africans. West Africans believe that the unseen spirits of their ancestors stay in nearby. Family also made a little space for their ancestors. They put up the sculptures that spot in spots for their ancestors. Families also have offered food to their ancestors. The West African thought that they did this that their ancestors would protect them from the village and from harm. West African beliefs had to do with nature. They, come, they called it amnism. Amnism is the belief that bodies of water, animals, trees, and other natural objects have spirits. Farmers in their daily life spent, would spend most of their days farming crops. Others would go fishing or take care of the herd or livestock. Traders moved goods across the Sahara Desert. Some people would capture slaves for daily life. Women would weave baskets, make clothes, and in some or make clothes. In some in some families, people had had to take part in another group called each sets. These groups were made up of men and women born in the same range of three years, and they formed large relations. People and families in age sex helped form successful villages. Everyone had to do their part in the village. The men hunted and farmed to gain resources to live. They also hunted crops such as millet, grains, and sore home. West African women did not did almost the same amount of work as the men did. They farmed, collected firewood, ground grains, carried water, and also took care of children. Even the young and old people had jobs too.